So I'm but guessing then, you walked around meowing at everybody. I had the I had the cat mask on, and and I was doing like some live streams and stuff at the time, because I I was saying like how I had infiltrated the special room and with my cat mask and all that. Um, I might have had maybe 200 followers or something at the time, but I mean it was fun. But then I then they they kind of got wise to my tricks, and I got thrown out of the room. And, Did you get uh, it on camera? No, no, I didn't get that on camera, but they're like, man, you got to have a special pass. I'm like, I just, you know, I'm a cat, you know, the cat's got to be in here, right? You, you, you like, should have stayed in character and just meowed at them and they, they wouldn't be able to do it. Hi, Danny. Hi, Danny. How you doing, man? Hello, Todd. How are you doing? I'm trying to avoid the echo here on this uh, program that we have. There's a slight echo going on here, so I apologize. But uh, I'm coming today from uh, Florida, and you are talking from Canvey, right? Yeah, that's right. Canvey Island, just down from London. Uh, not too far away. And you have that beautiful um, Canvey Island light, slightly different from London, from what I understand. And I've got the Matrix light ring going on here. So I'm, they're going to plug me in pretty a little bit later. <laughs> plug me into the Matrix and I can read the code. Anyway, enough of that. I've got my Elvis suit here because um, Halloween's coming up. Is that what you're going to go as? A zombie... Um... Zombie oh, Elvis, maybe? going to be regular ass Elvis. I don't know if I'm going to wear the wig, though. The wig's a little bit iffy. Um, it it kind of looks like you got to kind of suspend like what you're seeing a little bit when you see the wig. Because this wig actually kind of looks like it, you, it could be Elvis, but it could just as easily be an old lady. Oh, I see. Yeah, but you've right, got your so. beard. Yeah, but yeah, well, but I'm just saying, like the hair. I don't know that this looks. I'll I'll, I'll try to show you. Like this is supposed to be. It's got kind of the um, these deals, like the sideburns. Oh, the sideburns, yeah. Yeah, and it's. I guess it's got like a little thing to snap it on you, so you don't lose it. So it looks like it could possibly be a cat, maybe a dead cat. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just. Uh, Let's see. We'll take the headphones off. We'll give it a shot. See if we can get uh, Elvis going here. What do you think, Danny? He, he lives. He lives and breathes. Look at him. Got the glasses, too. We'll get these glasses. See, I've got the outfit. No, no. Put this, this business here. Oh, I don't know. That man. is fantastic. I, I, I you know of, what? I really like it with the white beard. It it really it, works. It's kind of wino Elvis. No, I think it's fantastic. You just need a burger. Just grab a big burger and have that walking around with you. Well, I've Take got the pictures. kind of embarrassing. I've got the embarrassing gut. Maybe I you could that, have a beer in the other hand as well. I, I put yeah maybe or uh, what he used to eat um, deep fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches. Oh, doesn't that sound fantastic? Um, yeah, it does actually sound not that bad. I would eat that. Um, With some, I'm actually on a diet right now, hoping to be able to fit into that outfit because it is a little bit small. It, it looks pretty ridiculous on me right now. Honestly, I think it yeah, looks so much reduce. better with a uh, with if it's too small, so you, so we can see know, a little bit. No. Yeah, I think it's I think it's going to be on me. Um, regardless. Yeah. So, you know. So let's take a look at what you featured this week here at uh, Street Badass. So here we have Street Shooter Tim. Um, I really like this picture. I, I like a picture that's got kids that uh, are doing something funny. Like that kid's going to dig that picture later on if he, if he knows the kid. I just, I just felt I was looking through Tim's uh, gallery and I spotted this and I just really liked the expression on on the uh, on the face of the baby and i'm not really sure whether she is i think it's yeah it is a she isn't it she's um, yeah, yeah. she's sort of shouting at her mum for more milk like saying i've got nothing left look you know showing the bottle 
give me more or whether she's looking at something that she wants because they're obviously next to some sort of toy stall or something like that but i also like the old fashioned sort of uh pram as well it's pretty cool looks like it could be an old photograph you know it looks like the actual baby in the pram looks like it could be from the 40s but then you've got the the sort of new toys next to her and it's also black and white which kind of lends to the nostalgia of it it does oh, actually yeah, look it, and then it has kind of those old fashioned hot drinks cold drinks those are kind of old fashioned old timey oldy timey letters back yeah there. they've probably been on that on that door for a while but um yeah all in all i think it's a really cool little street shot a lot i was pleased to uh feature this one yeah it's great he's got a lot of great stuff uh, you can go check out his gallery yeah I, definitely do street I, shooter I, like, shit, I like street shooter tim man he's got some great stuff and, I, and I'm, I'm a big fan of color but i gotta say i love this one in black and white yeah, this works better in black and white, I think. Just just like you say, from the no nostalgia of the, the pram as well, it gives it a timeless feel. <clears throat> yeah, he did, a, he did a great job on that one. All right, here we got Willie from Queens. Yeah, Willie from Queens. He's, he's one uh, street photographer that when I see his name pop up, when I'm scrolling down, I'll always stop. Because a lot of times um, people just maybe 10 photographs each time. And there's there's nearly always some real gems in there, and um, sometimes you got to look look at the fifth or sixth or seventh photograph to actually see one that really sort of strikes you as something special. Although to, to be honest, most of the, most of the uh, photographs he does have all got a story or they've got something about them. But I really like this one. He went to Comic Con, I'm guessing in New York, maybe. Um, but this is obviously a, uh, a couple of characters that are big fans of Beetlejuice, and I'm a big fan of Beetlejuice as well. And you've got the, uh, I think he was in maybe an American Indian or something like that. And they, uh, in the, at the end of the film, he sprinkles uh, some dust on Beetlejuice's head and shrinks his head. Uh, and he's got a shrunken head. head as well. Yeah. It's pretty clever, pretty clever uh, costume, actually. But um, there, are, there are some great costumes also at, like, those, uh, at those comic cons. Yeah, yeah. I've, do you know what? I've never done it, and I really want to. My my daughter's actually gone to the one in um, London today, and um, I just couldn't make it today. But I'd I'd have loved to have gone just just maybe outside, sit outside, um, and wait for people to go in and get some portraits. But again, even the even the girl obviously dressed up as Beetlejuice herself, she looks really cool as well. I like the side eye look. <laughs> just all together works. Yeah, she's. I, I went to a comic con like back in. 2018 here in tampa yeah yeah it was a lot of fun um yeah it was great i got some some pretty good shots there yeah people really go to town really you know dress up it's, it's uh, definitely kind of a portrait kind of thing they they're not into it if you just go and start shooting away no i would imagine because at the end of the day unless you get them on the way to the shoot so you if you get a random spider-man walking down high street or if you get you know uh some interesting costume from a sci-fi or something like that just walking randomly it's not going to work unless you're near the place rather than actually uh shooting the queue of people going in you'd have to be a bit further away so i suppose you could get some good street shots if you know where they go or if they if you know where they go next or where, where they're coming from Maybe from the station to the venue might be a good place to set yourself up. Yeah, there was like um like a private. There was like the whole show. Like you, I paid to get in. I can't remember what it was. It was like twenty bucks or something. I was like, oh god, I got to pay twenty. I paid the twenty or whatever it was. I bought the ticket. Might have been more, but I got in there, and then there was like an extra special room that you could go in. Ah. And they had, and I'm like, oh. But you had to have a costume on. And so I brought this uh, cat mask. And um, the cat mask that I brought, I, I'd like put it on. I was like, it covered like my whole head. And then like I snuck into the room. And it, apparently like that, that part of the room, everybody had to kind of pretend that they were the person that they were dressed up like. Oh, okay. That's a being character. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what was going on there. 